what up, what up? It's Mr. Fab, hold it down, representing Dope Air. You're live right here on Thizzler. Make sure y'all subscribe to the link right here. Yes, sir. Man, Dre, Mac Dre. I remember meeting Mac Dre. Um, what's so funny, the first time I met Mac Dre, he was coming to my house to buy some weed for my mom. Real talk. And uh, him and my cousin pulled up. He's like, Cuddy, your mama got some weed, Cuddy? Ooh, let me get some weed, Cuddy. My cousin Nooch pulled up. He was like, yeah, man, my auntie sell weed. And he pulled up in the hood and everybody was like, nigga, that's Mac Dre? I'm like, oh, that's crazy. Then I met him, um, I think I, I, I seen him again at an end store at Rasputin's. And um, I was just like, yo, Dre, man, when, you know, what's up, man? He's like, Cuddy, what's up, what's up with you, man? Ooh, I'm chilling. My cousin was managing him at the time. And I was just like, man, what's up, man? Starting a label or something? What's up? Put me on, cuz. And he was just like um, the sparking, uh, the, the spark plug, which boosted it was this DVD called uh, 92109. Was it 92109? Nine. I, I think it was that was it. It was the Expedition of Speed. And Be Love put the DVD together. Be Love and um, Justin Lomax. And Dre and I were both on it being interviewed. And Dre saw my personality on the thing. He was just like, Cuddy go crazy. Who is Cuddy? He hella funny. Cuddy, like, he got that star power. So when we met up, he was like, Cuddy, I'm, listen, Cuddy, I'm doing this label called This. We finna put it together. And it's, it's Ryder, Hustler. And you, Cuddy, if you want, if you down, we starting it off. You know, I already got the crest with me, so Doobie and, you know, all the Cuddies, they with whatever. So, you know, we already down. And I was just like, for sure. And Kilo was there. And man, we just start pushing, man. He was like, you know, it's like just pushing. He was like, Cuddy, come on, let's rock. Let's take it over. Let's do what we do. Kilo was, Kilo was working and Kilo was uh, spearheading the whole movement. Walt over at City Hall was giving us um, distribution, and um, the whole conglomerate of this was beginning to take off, and people began interested. I started working on Son of a Pimp, and I think right when I finished Son of a Pimp, the album, um, Dre was murdered. So he never really got a chance to hear the whole album, um, which was unfortunate, man, because it was just one of those things, man. We we had visions of, I think Cash Money had just re-signed again. They had just did they redeal again. I think Dino I gave him like a hundred million over at Universal, uh, Universal, and he was just like, Cuddy, they got a hundred million, Cuddy. I know we could get fifty, Cuddy. Like you feel me? And uh, just had big dreams, man. Big. Uh, it's a good dude, man. So his dreams was uh. Had big dreams, man. And, you know, we we were right there on the brink of it, and when that happened, it was like, damn, we gotta start all over. Um, and me being a young kid at the time it was very a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. Not only just the pressure of what am I gonna do, but damn, I'm out here by myself. Like, damn, I got all these dudes depending on me. I got this whole label on my back, and they looking at me like, what we gonna do? I'm a young dude, 23 years old, 22, 23 years old. Like, damn, I gotta do all this, but you know, my mantra is you live and you learn. And I lived it and I learned. So here we are, still representing, still keeping it, you know, lit for the cutty. And uh, hopefully in some of the work that I've done over the years, he ye in somewhere. Yee! Jacka to me is like, you know, my relationship with Mac Dre was, you know, that's the big homie and and, and, and um, that was, you know, that was the big homie, man. He, you know, gave me opportunity and Dre was like, you know, Dre was a good dude, like, you know what I mean? Um, but I'd be the first to openly admit that my relationship with Mac Dre wasn't like my relationship with Jacka. My relationship with Jacka was like, I was like my brother. 
You know what I mean? Like, like literally. It even got to the point where we start looking alike. And um, it's crazy because even when his mom sees me, like even now, me and his mom talk and she'll call me and just like, baby, I just was just missing you, man. I wanted to talk to you and how you doing? And I was like, oh, moms, I'm cool, I'm chilling. You won't. We talk, we just talk about just random stuff. Um, and he and my mom would always see each other and she'd be like, nigga, roll up, nigga. They'd be like, no, I don't even got no, nigga, roll up, nigga. Like, you feel me, that was their relationship. You got some juice? And they, you know, that's how, you know, that, it was like, bro, man. And we went around the world together, man. We went to several different countries together and he always showed me a lot, like, Jack was hella smart, you know? Um, but he only opened up to people if you knew him like that. You know, it was like he maintained his image of, you know, this the Jack, this the street nigga, this the one, one, one. But if you got a chance to really know him, you'd be like, damn, this dude hella smart. So those 13, 14 hour flights to Denmark and England and stuff, he would always just share some real game with me. Some, you know, FA do this and learn how to incorporate this or huh, read this, tell me what you think about this or listen to this kind of music. Him and Huss. Huss is, Huss is extremely well versed. Huss, the dynamics of Hustlers Intelligent is incredible. And I don't think people understand that, the intricacies of his intelligence. He doesn't allow people to see that. Um, it's very intelligent. But to make a short story shorter, me and Jack's relationship was uh, it's one for the ages, man. And when that happened, bro, I was really like, I was distraught, man. Like I, I and like I say, I don't. It's hard to compare the impact of a death, because I was hit hard when Dre died, but when Jack died, it was like, wow. Like, damn, I'm like, whoa. Like, dude, I just was with you. Like, I just was in the studio with you two nights before this, and our conversation in the studio, now that I think about it, is even scarier. Because it was like, bro, let's knock out this album before anything happened to one of us. We had the grill, and we just knocked out like six, seven songs, like two, three days before that. But it based off, let's knock out something before something happens to one of us. And then to get that call, I was like, whoa. Like, whoa, that was crazy. Like, I mean, just, I, mean, I still remember being, getting a call, them not wanting to say what hospital he, he was at. And they say, oh, we took him to this hospital. So we drove to this hospital, then he wasn't there. Then we had to go to the other hospital. and. I remember the doctor coming out saying he didn't make it. And me and PK was right there and I just, I couldn't, I was like, what? I'm like, ah, oh, nigga, go like, go check again. Like, nah. Um, yeah, I remember that, man. That shit was like, uh, that was tough, man. I was like, uh, I remember like yesterday, man. I, it was, it was different, man. You know, um, dude was a, um, dude was a good dude, man. You know, and, and, and like I say, man, I was like my brother, man. And, and, That's a tough one, man, you know? Even in my phone right now, like I still haven't erased his number or my mom's number. Um, that was my dog. That was my dog. 